Hello, my name is Lars Helgeson. I am the founder of GreenRope, and I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about marketing automation. There are a lot of questions around marketing automation, what it is, how do you use it, how does it fold into the regular operations of your business or organization. So hopefully today we'll be able to explain some of the concepts behind it and simplify it so you don't get overwhelmed by the whole concept of whatever marketing automation may mean to you. So we'll start first here by looking at your organization whatever that is and we're gonna focus on your mission so take a minute and think about what it is that you do some product or service maybe you have a membership organization that people try to join maybe you're a nonprofit where you're trying to collect revenue um, in the form of donations in all cases every mission needs a little bit of fuel for it and so we're gonna use a sales funnel as an example of how the fuel gets into your organization so we'll talk about how the top of this sales funnel gets fed. So these are people that are coming in contact with your brand in some way. Maybe they are searching for you and they see you in a search engine. Maybe they're looking at advertisements and you have banner ads out there or text ads. Maybe you meet them offline and they're a referral. Maybe they're um, people that have heard about you and, and maybe they receive a text message or, or whatever, they've seen other kinds of advertising. In all of these cases, you have different ways that people may discover your brand. So what you want to do is maximize the number of people that discover your brand and come here for your highest quality leads, the ones that are, you're really looking for. So when someone comes in contact with your brand, they're going to hit the top of the sales funnel. So we'll say that this is someone visiting your website. Your website is still the most valuable way for people to learn about who you are and what you do. And from here, you want to be able to capture as many people as you can. So not everyone that you capture will necessarily go on to this next level where they may become a lead. And then down here where they may become a qualified lead. Qualified. And then down here where they may become actually a customer and, and send you money or revenue or, or whatever it is this conversion means to you. So if someone comes to your website, you want to make sure that when they do, you have the maximum amount of chance of them actually coming in contact with you. So for most companies, this means setting up a web form. So this is also known as a sign up form also known as a lead capture form. But the idea is that someone comes to your website and they give you this information automatically. So this is the first part of marketing automation. So you don't necessarily throw a form up there and expect everyone to fill it out. So what most people do is they'll put some sort of an incentive. So maybe it's a white paper, maybe it's access to a video, something special that makes them feel like this is a good reason for me to give this company who I may or may not know some of my personal information. So with this incentive, someone fills out this form and then as a result, they get a series of emails. This series of emails that gets triggered by someone filling out a form are called, these are called auto responders. So you can predefine what each of these messages are and with GreenRope, you can have up to 30 of them as a sequence of emails that happens when someone fills out a form. So that's fairly straightforward. The other thing that you can do within GreenRope that acts very similarly is called a drip campaign. So a drip campaign essentially means that this is another series of emails. So same idea. These are all different messages and you can space them out however you like. You predefine them using our email builder and you say, okay, here's a series of emails and it can be as many as you'd like and they can, they can be sent to someone as soon as someone joins a group. So to understand how we do this within GreenRope, you have one system that handles your whole CRM and that's, that's what GreenRope does. Underneath your CRM, you can divide people into different groups. So we may have here group one, group two, group three, group four. And we may say that 
we've talked to this person on the phone, so we're going to put them into group one. And so this person has been added to group one, and as a result, they're going to get this sequence of emails. So now your sales team no longer has to go in and manually type these messages. All they have to do is add someone to a group and they immediately will be put on a drip campaign where they can get the messages sent to them, sent to these, this person that you just added. So that makes sure that your brand is consistent and make sure that the right message gets sent across. And it's also good for comparing analytics so you can see which drip campaigns are working better than others. So there are a lot of other ways that you can do this. You can do the same thing with a qualified lead. You could send them to maybe a different drip campaign. Um, you can take people out of different groups and that'll terminate the drip campaign in the middle. So if someone say advances from lead to qualified lead, you can cut them off in the middle of that drip campaign. Um, there are a lot of other ways that you can automate your marketing. So let's take for example, what a lot of people do with events. So with an event, we have an event management system built into GreenRope. You can create events, you can do registration, you can collect payment. As a result of people attending events, you can set it up so that those attendees automatically get drip campaigns. So it's useful. You know that if someone showed up and they checked in, then they can get that series of messages. Well, let's think about other ways that we can do this. What if you have a phone system? We have a telephony component built into GreenRope where you can get your own phone number, people can call in. This makes it very easy for you to say, well, everyone that's maybe called in, the person answering the phone can say, aha, I know this person is going to need a drip campaign because we talked to them on the phone and they're interested in this particular product or service. So once again, it's a way of automating this process so that the person answering the phone doesn't have to actually sit there and type out a message to everybody. They can just go in and add someone to a group and they're done. Again, it's about saving time. It's about becoming more efficient. There are also other things that we have built in. We have a ticketing system that allows you to manage customer support. So let's say someone calls or emails in and they fill out this form and it says, okay, I'm interested in this particular product or service. I need help with this. You can automatically, as a result of them doing that, you can put them within a drip campaign. Once again, saving you time, which ultimately saves you money. So the idea here is how do you streamline the way this whole system works? Well, within our, our CRM, we also have the ability to not just tie drip campaigns, but what we call workflows. So workflows within a CRM are a series of activities. Maybe someone needs to be given a sequence of phone calls or demonstrations or notes, things that need to be reminded. So for this person now, we'll have activity one, and then we may have activity two, whatever these are, whatever this sequence of messages is, this is called a workflow. So the workflow then can automatically be assigned to this contact as a result of being put in this trip campaign, which as you can see, then make sure that no matter what your process is, no matter what you're doing, you have the ability to sequence everything all automatically. So ultimately, the reason why there is such a thing as automation, it really comes down to simplification of your business processes. So if you can simplify, then you can become more efficient. And with more efficient, with more efficiency, you can grow because it allows you to focus on what's most important, which is the mission. At GreenRope, we have all of the tools that will allow you to do all this. At first, when you look at something like this, it may feel a little bit overwhelming, but don't be intimidated. If you take it one step at a time and first start off maybe with a web form, then maybe work on setting up a drip campaign based on somehow someone manually adding someone to a group. Then we can talk about doing things that are more advanced, things like website conversions. So when someone goes to a website and maybe they convert, they purchase something from you, you can automatically have people go and be added to a drip campaign. We can talk about sales alerts. Um, these are messages that get sent to your sales team 
when, when someone hits your website. All of these are methods that we have built into GreenRope to simplify, to make your system more efficient, and to help you grow. We have quick starts available on our website as well, so this can help you walk through this whole process. We can sit down and talk to you about how your particular system works. What product or service are you selling? How do we get this to integrate with all of our software? So I encourage you to check out the quick starts on our website. But ultimately, our sales and support team is here to help you. We are happy and we are successful when you are successful. Our ultimate goal is to help you grow. Let us have a chance to do that. We look forward to talking with you soon. And if you haven't set up a GreenRope account already, we encourage you to take the free trial. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.